In 1941, Southern Baptists recognized an opportunity to utilize an emerging medium to reach more people with the message of the gospel. The medium was radio. The program was called The Baptist Hour. And with that first broadcast, a mission was born that is still alive and growing today to penetrate our culture by sharing Christ and biblical values through media. This new ministry was soon named the Radio Committee. And in the decades that followed, this ministry grew to reach thousands of listeners with a wide variety of quality, family-friendly radio programs. But most importantly, it reached thousands of listeners with the message of Christ. While radio thrived across America, another communications phenomenon developed in the 1950s, television. Once again, realizing the potential for impacting our culture through media, the Radio Committee became the Radio Television Commission in 1954. The mission was expanded and the legacy of quality, family-friendly programs continued throughout the 50s and 60s. Television soon surpassed radio as the most powerful and influential medium in North America, but the airwaves were controlled by three major networks. The emergence of cable television changed that, and Southern Baptists recognized a way to expand their presence within this powerful platform. In the early 80s, they launched the American Christian Television System, an innovative approach to national cable that also embraced local programming. In the midst of declining moral values that began to permeate mainstream television at this time, Axe was a light in the darkness, providing audiences a channel they could trust for wholesome, inspiring programs. In 1991, a network called FamilyNet joined Axe to become part of the Southern Baptist mission to reach our culture through media. Today, FamilyNet is distributed through broadcast and cable affiliates around the country, as well as satellite, to more than 30 million households. During the past 15 years, FamilyNet has been a pioneer in family-friendly Christian television, producing some of today's most popular series and bringing viewers all of their favorite entertainers, speakers, teachers, and authors. But most importantly, FamilyNet continues leading thousands of viewers to faith in Jesus Christ through the ministries of our programming partners and through the Evangelism Response Center, a Southern Baptist-sponsored resource for callers to discuss spiritual matters. FamilyNet is on pace to generate more than 15,000 calls to the ERC this year. History shows that one out of every five callers will make a life-changing decision for Christ. Since that first radio broadcast in 1941, the world around us has changed radically and constantly. And because of a steadfast commitment to its mission, what began simply as the radio committee has also changed radically and constantly. Today, the name is different. The programs are different and the media is different, but the mission remains the same. And as the world continues to change in the years ahead, FamilyNet will seek to find new ways to impact our culture through media with the love and truth of Jesus Christ.